Okay. So, let's see. Just a sec, I'm about to start. Just let me... Seems like a dumb name for someone who's clearly not a dolphin, though. Uh. What should we go with? should we go with actually I don't know let's go with spark just to be funny right Oh my god, it's the freaking icons from Generations. Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. 
Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia left. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working in the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Okay. Chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon blue. Chili dog, ramen, chicken cordon blue, yeah. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Chicken cordon bleu. Ding ding ding! Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. You've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party! Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets. But after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Haha, <laughs> glad this old man can rest easy. Murder mystery party? So are they like playing a game? Doors to the Mirage Express are opening! All aboard! Alright, is there anything familiar about this? I mean, obviously the palm trees. Okay. It's Amy. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I, I can't do a vector impression. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What'd you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? Cast of characters and my stuff with. Get a hold of yourself, Spark. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic! Wait until I announce everyone's rolls to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Spark, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, okay, got it. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Practically tradition. Very useful! We'll use this wisely, thank you. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as, your, as yourself aboard. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on your train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes have fun now. Will do, thanks. 
Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. <sighs> that stare. So cold. Spark, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm good. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Crazy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this is yours? You slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Can we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me, puts me at ease. You consider me calming. He's looking right at me. I studied in jutsu. I believe one can communicate with the subconscious. Not in jutsu? Sounds like a lot of dis difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Not to what? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. There's something amiss, sir. I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. It's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing! Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. What's the signal of the napkin holder? Wasn't someone looking for a ticket here earlier? Let's be sure to return this. Let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Well, we just might have what you need. Spark, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? There it is! That's my ticket! Thanks so much for you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Old Spark here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Wait, who made me both microwave escort and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. May I have your ticket, pl- Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Princess such as myself must always be punctual. Dude, I love- I love this Blaze outfit. What the heck? I better get this outfit and like, whenever Blaze shows up in a game again, I want this outfit. Absolutely. Princess? Did she say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back on my own. Actually, I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. You don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? 
I like how they're like showing like the perspective of a normal person when they meet Sonic's friends for the first time. I think that's adorable. Okay everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Spark if they need any help, won't you? That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place, either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Spark here if you need anything. Sounds good? Absolutely. Will Daryl. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I showed you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read the lore cards as well. Lore cards? Must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. <laughs> of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally. That's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're the business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of the industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. What did she say again? I, is there like a log somewhere? I wish I could like read a log of their dialogue, but I think I missed a joke there. Vector, you're the butcher, and SBO the poet, both found in the library. Hey, that SBO, we get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we could make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Wait, me? No. Oh, okay, I have to memorize this shit? Okay. Ship captain, conductor car. Detective, dining car. Sheriff, saloon. That's easy to remember. So captain, conductor car, detective in the dining hall, business tycoon, and titan of the industry. Okay, that, that is pretty much the same. They're both in the casino. Butcher and SBO the poet in the library. Locksmith in the lounge. Yes. I was listening in. Hope, oh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Oh, that makes it convenient. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. The rules of the scheme are as follows. There's murderer amongst you all. Murder can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must be physically be present with the victim for it to count. Physically be present with the victim? What do you mean? Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train, and use it to interrogate fellow passengers. Murder will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle, and then the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. Ah, this is so exciting! The mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Same! Ah, isn't it awesome? 
Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, well, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their characters' motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. I don't think you were supposed to share that, Tails, but is that supposed to be like a Bean the Dynamite reference? My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Sounds kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? I'm slipping! Hold on! Tails, you can fly. Okay, so like, someone did something. You're both awake! Yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning! <laughs> my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. The train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. It's actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Spark, can you get the door? Of course. Hmm. Seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's bulging. I think it's budging. Why did I read that as bulging? What the fuck? Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll, uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know, Amy, she's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here. But all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way, and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around the closet, then we'll show it to Amy. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Pain guests are well taken care of. Okay. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. What's this, a rod? Tip is broken. Looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Shelf blocking our exit. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. Nothing against the shelf could have the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. This is important, we should log it. people alert and safe. Once I flipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily Sonic was there to catch me. Sonic really is fast as they say. He was going so fast he also slipped. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a lot that counts, I suppose. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave wheels. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skill has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Only had microwave lunches this week. It's always hidden in the trash. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Alright, is that everything? I think that's everything, right? Yeah. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? Found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. You believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? 
This isn't gonna be easy. I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Mia was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? I don't think you were sitting idly while Spark and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Spark, let me step you through this. Find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Since that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Okay, right, let's do it. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over! Damage makes sense. You have no argument here, you're grasping. Okay, Tails, but now... When I get stumped, I like to think... What would Sonic do? Bad Nix, he never loses. Like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? Just follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Oh? Uh, uh, okay, WASD, they do the same thing. Okay, those launch higher, yeah. That's cute. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... At least someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing around was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Is that a stick? Do you really believe a stick could do this kind of damage? We're just doing special stages to try and, like, defuse this. It's so funny. Okay, so we were supposed to jump that guy. You're right. A stick couldn't do this kind of damage to the shelf. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually a handle to your hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, ah. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. But lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let's, let me see both pieces of the hammer. Let's take this here, a little of grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, you should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. We did it, we're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Wait, is that... It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait! I'm gonna figure out who did this too. Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Eh. Body dumb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. Eat to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? Man, those wrist balance hits a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic! Oh no, no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Spark, what do I do?
down this last ride. We can catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. Keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> this is so dumb. Saloon car. Oh, this place was broken too. Okay, so Knuckles is here, right? Look at this place. I've looked around, I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. Seems she's really excited. Do you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. It's fine. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure it out. The train rules say I gotta stay and watch after everyone. You just want to hang out with me, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. How is everyone great at reading people but me? As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. You ever catch me looking glum, though? Just know it's because, uh... Where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me dicked star practice to join the evil Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. You varmints. We're all doing in my saloon. It's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! I'm trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. He mows it through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up. We were, we were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Spark, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do you think it broke when the train sped up? The damages looked to be more caused from... punches. Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. This one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I think Tails is ignoring me. I'll be right back. Spark, this is interesting. What is? Just a few used cops. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Spark, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone must have been here. We should lock this. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. The bowl of assorted nuts. Classic saloon snack. Kind of bland. Seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? Maybe they're just unsalted. Breathtaking views. 
train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Using cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Oma Chow. I hate to see them like this. What'd they do? Medical malpractice? Interesting. <laughs> Robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? You fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Should I fear my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? That's true, what do they need him for? I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <clears throat> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. You just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better. I said leave! Not hungry. If you ever are, you let me know, won't you? Sure. You're a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Spark, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Um, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, Butler. Dang it! If I told you to leave me alone. Knuckles, Spark and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Spark, just take a good look at your inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade machine? Ha! Huh. Who makes you think I touched it? I wonder what happens if you screw this up. Oh my god, there's spike balls now? This is accelerating. Quite quick. Although I'm doing very well. Oh shoot! You see, we... No argument here, you are weak. Spark, let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? Okay. I, I had to ask what happens when you screw it up, and I screwed it up. Awesome. I jumped a little too early. Jump! There we go. Jump! Oh, that was really close, actually. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Your kicking was coming in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? You needed a punching bag and none were available. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you- I'm on it! Spark, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! You want me to distract him? <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. This game's amazing. <laughs> The arcade machine's fixed! No, don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'll plug it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car. Ugh. Vector's beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector so you could get the highest score, and Vector beat you. Ugh. In frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Ah, he's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Proof to me he was here now.
Since you can't really move faster on this track, I can assume that I have to jump the spike balls every time, right? Spark, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? No. That was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. You were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some pr drinks playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Uh, d don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. So as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. That's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What are the cup with the lipstick mark? Bruce was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train showed up. Sped up. Are you not satisfied? I understand the scenario. Busy to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, and Knuckles destroyed the machine. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, that's not everything. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Can you take a look one more time? An odd name. Oh, this is the only one that's not food. Yeah. All the other names have a food theme but this one. Where goes by Ulti? You may not know Spark, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The Ultimate Life Form. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Victor and I were struggling so much for the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow is here too? He taught us the game was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. We we're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone, then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. I saw no one else had to lock in the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key, too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? Well, he is, isn't he the locksmith, right? What was Rue searching for? She's like the business tycoon or like the other one? Giant of industry, was that it? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You have to find them and ask them yourself. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We know for sure when we confirm things. Fair enough. Library's in the next car, I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Spark, let's head to the library. On it. Oh my god. I just now noticed it's the Mirage Saloon style. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm coming. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! Those are the generations art symbols. I love it. All the stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. Heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you our presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Vector, it seems we have more guests. 
Amy, there you are. Want to join us in finding clues? Flattered, but at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer will never get found. Oh, she's confident. Must have something up her sleeve. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. How are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Birthday girl is a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm a... Just make it sure things go well. Things aren't going great. I'm not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that. Besides murder... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my social skills non-existent. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Nemespio the Poet. Poetry! A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Um. Teardrops in the spring, can you hear me sing la 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 dee 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 dee? So that's... Aw, oh, I love looking at the chow. It's so great. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Spark and I are here to establish both your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. We were all sent off. Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me an Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout no way at the brochure stand over there, but she left back to the casino car for a shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. He's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. So what, he just kept locking doors on the way through? When Jackter came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. With all these locked doors, it seemed Vector Espio couldn't have left the library car. <laughs> we're just gonna peek around. I'll chop it up for you. If you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered. Thanks, guys. The alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. Looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. Too many books on the ground. Wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. All well, these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry. Spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empty for everything. He's listening to music over there. How about a poem about trains? In motion, I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Uh, thanks. Actually, I actually really like that one. Huh? Brochures! Travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. <gasps> Let's look at this. There's a couple maps here. Map of the library car. 
Books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. Love a good overhead map. Let's take it. We're sure about a cave, too? Nah, leave it. Yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Alright, so what does this map show you? So there's the desk right there. Okay. So which table was he reading at? Poor thing, that arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Probably for the best. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop by at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area, and makes one scrumptious sandwich. Well, keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? Man, this is so cute. This game is so cute. Something's always hidden in the trash, it's stuck there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing there. I really thought there'd be something there. Are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Hide a secret, I'm sure. You're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. Well, yeah, you'd have to. It's a linear path. He locked this door on the way out. Should we make a note of it? I believe we should. Hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below says, Hang in there. I really needed to see this. This little child's hanging there, refusing to let use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. It's beautiful. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? <laughs> oh, you could turn on... That's... Gone Gal. Is that a reference to something? I don't... I don't remember the, anything about that. Let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush, but you're right in the mood to read. I just want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Spark, no, don't fall asleep! You've been a murderer, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time... Sprite Red Book. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this segment. I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. A little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book tiles excitedly. He's like a king and a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. You think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. We found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio. Fancy a poem? So the two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity. Spark and I are confirmed two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? Oh, it's easy. I got bored. Wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, you were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the sloot car, so I figured I'd go check it out. He's live with the information we got with Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, SPO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but what were you actually reading the entire time? 
course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It's been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch what the book might be. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have? Okay, so you can short hop. Oh, fuck. What the heck? <laughs> Someone shooting boomerangs at me? Whoa! I don't know if these are boomerangs. Are they, oh, these are slicer knives, aren't they? Okay. These are, there are books scattered all over the floor, sure. But the remaining books in the shelves were all in alphabetical order. Hey, Scolio. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. They literally just dropped it <laughs> today. It's hilarious. All except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Good job, SBO. <laughs> this lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey, now. I won't have you insulting my pal like the calm down vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. But you're in a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to actually ask you a few questions about the manual. Spark, if you don't mind, could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Quiz Espio to prove you read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Any of these would do, right? What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms, steering events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train could clean itself, though I have a feeling the train company didn't, just didn't want to hire any janitors. Robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that question. Spark him with another one. Which page? What is the Mirage Express's can cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this scroll must have been over 65. Last one, Spark. Let's see if SPO can go three for three. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligence data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. Remember this, the train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, can I pass you a little test? Totally! It's wild you were able to retain all that information. Poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. You both have the nerve to question my buddy. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But you answer all my questions so calmly. It's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate. Well, you definitely read through the manuals, so I suppose we could... SPO, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? I don't believe that can be true. Spark? He always puts me on the spot! Okay, Spark, think. We have a piece of evidence leaked to someone who also saw FSBO reading. But why? Shadows. Lock. Please, pray tell. What does this have to do with anything? We're up, Spark. How hard are these gonna get? We, we're doing a lot of these.
Oh, I, I almost fucked up there. Oh, God. Okay, I didn't lose that many. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. Wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at that point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Uh, well, you see, I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock out the doors, then at that moment were you really in the library color at all? How would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. Mystery, my dear Spark. One that I would love for SBO to solve. You gotta believe me. That cold demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved in my book that I didn't notice Shadow pass back to the library car, honest. SBO, you're a ninja. I, I don't buy that. <laughs> when Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing it. Alright, shut up. Must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Is Espio simply sitting reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return? What should I do? an interesting choice. I'm sorry, Espo, but you had to have noticed him. No, I can't interrupt Tails when he's on with something. I'll let him continue. Please. They must be taking care- Bro, there's no way he said all this. There's no, there's no way this guy has said this. The lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. I have to speak up. Tails, you have a piece of evidence that can answer all our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. Piece of evidence shows Shao and Espio couldn't have seen one another. Oh, the map! So depending on where he was sitting... So if he was sitting, like, up here... Right? If he was sitting, like, up here, then he wouldn't have noticed that someone was, like, walking this way. But at the same time, like, he's Espio. Like, come on, man. <laughs> right? Of all people, you should know when someone's lurking around. Like, Espio or Knuckles or Rue should not be having this issue. But whatever. I can't wait to watch people stream this game. I think it's gonna be a riot. But I, I need to get somewhere into it myself first because I don't want to get spoiled. Oh, fuck! <laughs> felt so close! Let me give it another go.
Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one each other, a straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. So you have to point out where exactly on the map. Where could Espio have been? Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. It confirms it then. See, Shao and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shao could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash you for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh? Seems the door of the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. That's our cue to leave. See you later. Give him heck. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. Oh, I thought those were like sweat marks, but no, those are just sparkles. <laughs> Murderer is on the loose, the doors keep getting locked. Tick tick tock goes the clock, or our heroes are on the kaboot, that's not how it works. At this point I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on Spark, let's see what's next. Coming! A one sentence poem. Are italics enough to qualify as a poem? <laughs> Spend too much time in a library. I'm not sure we will, actually. You're lost. <laughs> the mystery calls! Alright, so next is Rouge and Blaze, right? Yeah. Stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. Yeah, <laughs> the chow. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. I can't see what she said. I accidentally skipped it. And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Uh, please don't let that be my legacy. <laughs> Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to, care to explain? Uh, tell them, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Please? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored on the train. Treasure? You certainly didn't tell me about treasure in my interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of the fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. Alright, well... It's a Fabergé Chow Egg. That does sound extravagant. Please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. Well, we can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in- oh my god, I read that wrong the first time. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. See you, Scalio. I deduce that the Fabergé Chow egg is here, in this train car locked in a safe. Is my, um... Okay, it's working. So the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Bruce? Oh, why don't you both take a look? Found the train's blueprints in a library car with a safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Uh uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the chow egg. We're not getting anywhere. We need a plan to get that car and use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the egg. Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. It sounds like a fine business venture. 
Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing. Spark, you have an opinion? Sure. I suppose we'll blaze and spark her in. Okay, let's get that egg. That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. We must claim. What have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the chow egg room was behind a locked elevator. What is this draw? <laughs> what? Wait, that's Rouge, that's Tails, that's Blaze, that that's Spark, and that's a chow. <laughs> what is this? Do we extract the perfect? We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Spark, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems I don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Think you could distract the guard? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stoic, I have chills. Oh, I trust her. Move it on. What's the distraction? She must see it. So we're great as a, as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That town uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. <laughs> yes. And you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? <laughs> what? Well, I have, you dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! The vile. I can think of nothing worse. A cup without a coaster. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. Sing victory acapella. Pop some apple cider. Celebratory dance. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> well, that's a proper victory. Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that gets us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while, and the arms are tightening their grip! Tails managed to do it. Cry and hope they sympathize. Out of hitch. Could have made it that far without you both. With my gratitude. Our playing before him was very thorough, I must admit. And it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we can claim the real prize. I have the safe code right here. Let's claim our egg. It's got to be the safe. Let's run the code on the blueprints and find out. 23. Really? Really? This is gonna be hilarious, isn't it? Oh, wow! It's here! <gasps> I have it! Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? Before there's secrets whatsoever. Bruce, spit it out. What are you hiding? 
Only three of these eggs were ever made. Each had an individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness the secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Oh, Rouge. Has no one lived to tell the egg's secret? Because each egg is a bomb. <laughs> I like how Blaze is nervous. <laughs> I think you're on to something, kid. We need to dispose that egg now. After all our hard work. Rouge! Fine, fine, but what do we do? This thing. That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Chaos control the egg away. What did you hear about chaos control? It doesn't matter. We need a chaos emblem to be able to do that. Well, dang it. Great idea. Stop, stop, it's clearly not working. It's like something else. So you think the egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. There was nothing, Rouge. Yeah, I should probably go to that. Adventure 2, that's so funny. Cool the bomb down with your tails like a fan. Worth the try. I still hear ticking. However refreshing the braids may be. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives so You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? We just like to save it. Maybe. It's as they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. What a pro. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick all these options, dude. Egg back, Rouge. Okay, fine, it's going back in. Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. Must be some weird way to relock the door. Think of something else. Wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one like movies. This isn't a movie, Spark, this is real life. Yeah, he's got a good point. Down it goes. We're clearly not going to blow up the elevator. You want us to just blow up? The bomb, Spark. What if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. What's right? Spit it out, kiddo, we don't have any time. Espo did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Spotless. Robotic arms. Don't even think of a variety of tasks. Detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train. Oh, makes sense. Seem to have a lot of functions here on this train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised this egg, the arms would have detected it. And he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. We should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Hollow, not a bomb at all. We both really were onto something. Phew! Never mind, well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. Bench was right, thankfully. Yeah, look what's inside! Wow, look at that sparkle! It's so heavy, too! The final secret to the egg is a chow covered in gems! It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? But I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the secret. Wonder why, if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us, I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. No 
one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. What they said, the drink poster framed, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? He's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What, what? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said. Finders keepers. I'll leave them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you can. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. We'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of those, one of these you passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. We also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. It's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you, but stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Spark. Let's head out. The mystery continues. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. I don't know how to play that. Spark, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Well, I lost. Do I try again? I respect your restraint. <laughs> Thanks. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. I'm content for now, thank you. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing struck my appetite. I was nervous myself. You sweat out of your uniform pretty often. You're a very, um, animated person. Wow. Go over your alibi for us. When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car, and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the chow egg. We talked, we walked and talked to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. Trained to his sudden jolt was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Army Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through us as well, but it was brief. He gave me the eggs that Keen left. I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out, Vasher. You can take a look. 14,000 credits? It's an enormous payout! How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk, she's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, please. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Are you hungry? What a paltry menu. I don't have options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. If I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on the chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. Walked back to the library and the suit car, so I found it in the library car. Did I see Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? and plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Ready to get going? Let's do it! Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these, those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? 
Who wants to meet with him? Well, Spark, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Indubitably, my dear Spark. Glad you two finally caught up. Surprise took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save some. You've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but only be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is, she seems confident. We'll hold you to it! I'm not wearing a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get a furlong dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. You open the wardrobe, please. Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or something leaps out? I just think you should do it. Alright, watch a pro. <laughs> All this dust! You opened the door too fast! It blew everywhere. Ugh. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? No, but I'll give it a shot. Robotic arm, can you... Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can, but I, but I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet! Hey, it's the big chow band! That was spiritual. I feel reawake. Hmm. A key ring? It must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Tails, you have to check this out. Oh, it's big! Hey there. Familiars, this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing! Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Spark, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Spark? <sighs> Alright. Let's check the trash bin. What's this? Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? It's added to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. <laughs> they told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely! Seems convenient. It is! Shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. These printer is hooked up. Can you print something? This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but it won't let it stump me. And here you go! Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back at the printer. Is it really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? Fair enough. <laughs> Who is that? That looks like a Forces OC. Okay, is that everything? I think that's everything, right? I checked the board, I checked the printer, I checked the trash can, computer... We can't move out till we interrogate Shadow! I was just checking to see if there was something on the door, because there was last time, you freaking prick. Alright. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. This stairs so cold. 
No, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Spark, we certainly will not. There's nothing I can help either of you with. Take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. Coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows will make it perfect. Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. <laughs> Okay, was I missing something? I thought I scoured the whole place. Do I talk to Amy first? Okay, so that was nothing. Journalists can't be the murderer, right? We learned the train will confiscate any weapons brought on board. But you've had your hammer with you this whole time. It's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, birthday law. Should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. Okay, so like, I feel like I've checked everything in here, right? So like, I can't leave... I can save. Okay, I need to make sure I save. There's a save system in this. What the f How long is this game? <sighs> oh, here it is. Tails, do you see this? Upholstery. Spark. What? It's gotta update something. The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. It's curious. This must mean something big. What? This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Shh, quick! Back to the passage before they spot us. We need to add that to our inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train. Every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and, and I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Time to reveal my hot tip. You wouldn't pay for a scoop. We're ready. The next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following. So Shao was locking all the doors for one reason. Keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? Or? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back these claims. They'll remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims that you never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave. Reckless speculation. Is logic sound, though? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the car to the conductor's car, the door to the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. 
I think Spark and I can explain the car change, however. What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Fireballs, okay. That was close. That one was significantly tighter, for sure. Spark and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? Someone could have used the passage, snuck the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely ride at the diving car. Excellent work, Spark. This is just my theory of it. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then brought, thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, dropped the body off the diving car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am! But of course this is just a theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Do you have any guesses? Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Espio reading the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. I can't believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why are you even searching for Espio? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true, everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Spark and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Spark, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those are the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. What of his own key? Could one of those been for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. Let's say Shadow is telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. The theory is strong. Tells and I certainly haven't presented anything. Shadow really innocent? I think Spark and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. <laughs> just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay, just them being here is enough. Thank you, Amy. Spark, 
I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence. We know Shadow walked through every train car lock in the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in their cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not giving, give us a key? Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Spark. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What, excuse me? Shadow would never do that, it's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? How dare Spark show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? That feels right. Whew, just organize my thoughts. Gamer mode. Okay. You went th rooting through the trash. What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails don't. <gasps> this is Hot Honey's website. No way. I love them. Uh, Hot Honey. It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the memories members have B after their name. Yes, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. Why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. Much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's headed. Exists because... <laughs> Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me taunt concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow... I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the- Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. <laughs> After he freaking punched the computer and Shadow the Hedgehog. After I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Probably our fault there. Sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Honey Hot, Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but will be available soon. The appointment you kept speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy? I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. For the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. <laughs> Conductor's key. Key opens up any door in the train. Plan's fatal flaw. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you too. Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I don't know if... Too late, it's happening! I can't wait, the show of a lifetime! <sighs> fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two! Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this! That wasn't a hop tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain! Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. 
I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. I'll join as well. Kind of see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Spark, I have to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Send this tale. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then. Let's do it. I feel like it's not going to be the end, but we'll see. I'll be right back. Ready to go? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Conductor car. Should I really sort out my evidence? I should really sort out my evidence before I continue. I haven't visited the conductor car yet. It feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. It was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Something we can't figure out. Come, time to investigate. Let's crack on. You know, I'm alright. You here before, huh? Always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. No, no, they're right. You should always check the trash bin. Let's give it a look. You gave in so easily. Not something once, no one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh no, you look so sad about it. You two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see, is it a clue? Maybe just leave Spark alone for a second. Wow, the conductor looks so young in this uniform. It's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He says he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. Hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I, I wish that too. This fall over when the train sped up? What's it say on the mug? A cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yeah, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? The confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah. But they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? No, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, guys. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information in advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I could watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said Happy Birthday, Amy. It was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. A microphone. We could talk to the whole train with this. Should I say something? Spark, why are you reaching for the mic? Offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Spark. Thank you for sharing. Events. It's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you get up there. Wait. Why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, the 
Tails. Spark! Time for clues. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he had to drive the train one last time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed speed up is odd. And we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his life. Fa. Is someone playing darts? It's not a throwing dart, it's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make note of this. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Well, I guess I have no choice, right? <laughs> Car at once! This can't be the end, right? I mean, I guess it could, considering what kind of game this is, but... Here, Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect, the assistance from Spark. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, a lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Esmio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble part. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun, too. Uh-oh. Uh... What in the world? That's Amy's voice! Quick, where's Amy? He's not responding to us! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. Sonic could handle anything, but that's how he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Spark, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? It was either Blaze or Espio, right? It's one of three things. It could be Amy, because... It could be Amy, because she could be playing this all a prank. She's the one who went to get Sonic. Could be Espio because Shadow said that he looked around the room and he couldn't find him. <laughs> it 
And it could be Blaze because we don't really know what she was doing while Rouge was running around. I'm gonna go with Espio. I think I'm gonna go with Espio on this. I think he used a dart and it was like some kind of like... Yeah. You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Huh? I didn't know such thing, my young friend. If it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What, that you're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Well, that's right. Spark, could you fill everyone in? Oh, what did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true. He didn't miss a question. But I think Sparks and I can explain that too. How did Espio know everything in the train manual? Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clear alibi. What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. If I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the Hidden Passage. And Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the Hidden Passage? It's hidden! That's right, how would Espio even know it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Spark and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Who was you here as evidence to prove Espio knew about the Hidden Passage? Was it Knuckles? Was it Rouge? Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. You stole blueprints? Whatever, I'd already used this scout for more pressure. treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Spark, do you have an answer for it? Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library card. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. That means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the passage. Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murder can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Spark and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm, sure how, I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic. But Spark and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is Rich. Play tell. If I murdered Sonic, how'd I do it? Not for my argument. Close, Spark. What would Sonic do?
code art was found here. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the library. Spark and I know another way. What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Yeah, what is my argument? I don't know what's on this thing. There's more rings in that path. I did good. See, now you're forced to take the spring in those situations. Vespo didn't take the secret passage to get the dining car. Then what route did he take? There's a path above the conductor car. And it goes all the way to the dining car. I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. It's that vent up top, isn't it? Do the vent over there? The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path. Let me check it out. My word. There is a path back there, and a track. A track? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize you both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? God, this is uh, not going well. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We good. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. What if... One of the robot arms actually caught Sonic. Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues to the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from the blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's totally banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting fairy tales, we have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything together directly to Espio yet, but I have once found one inconsistency. Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Tails, you're, you're right! Espio lied to me! Tell me Shadow did it! We found Shadow's trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise! That scoop came from you, Espio? <sighs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. 
misheard you. Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. You must believe you were lazily reading the whole time. We were stationed in the room with a hidden passage. <laughs> and now you're lying to me? On my birthday. Of all days. With the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out at this weakest, but it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. It was you, Espio. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Hi, Sonic. Hey, guys. Sonic, you're okay! And just as we solve the mystery... Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. Something important. SBO left me there. Everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Can you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a Flicky. A Flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a Flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad neck. It's the conductor's friend. You're not serious. You certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. There was this blow dart from Espio. Espio left, the lights in the room started to glow red. Stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed through the robot arms, sliced it off the rail it was on. I was able to, he was able to do any of this poison. Another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. The connector screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? <laughs> Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. What is that? Use this blow dart on Sonic. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed these arms to attack? Who or what? Who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espy at the blow dart? It's all too convenient. Attacked by the robot arms. Now he attacked himself on purpose, and while it could have been an accident, I have a different theory. The train itself is plotting something. The train's a bad nick, now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is. But clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Come out and show yourself! Amy! It's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. The train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that?
What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. <sighs> Is that the train talking? Of course I can talk. Your fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress, the conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we always planned. Why, you were trapped before? What are you? Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa! No. I can't keep my footing. Bunch of evidence of fauna in my pockets. Uh, Tails, Amy? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic! I'm so sorry, are you okay? Hanging in there. Since the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. Where's everyone else? Great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. When the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Okay. I think I'll take a break for now, but this has been very... <laughs> this has been very fun. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello. Yeah, I'll finish up this dialogue box before I turn this off. Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. You spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ignoring that? They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. Which is more useful for my future skills. Let me guess. Another Death Egg Doctor predictable? The people jeer fear giant spheres. It's science! Let's get to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the crane quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to know what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to make sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happen to board. The train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius! So this confirms it, the train really is sentient. <laughs> Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to think. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of bound badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever. But a highly intelligent train may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough, though. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt, the conductor's been captured. 
Should I have been more assertive earlier? Am I at fault here? Hey. I can tell the situation's getting to you. Sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. When negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you, I need you helping me think, this, think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Let's get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The door's been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Tired entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what could Sonic do. So what would you do? What would I do? I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends! By any means necessary. Stand back! One big wind-up, Sonic spin out fast enough to get the door open. Now that that road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants, I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? I get it. Well, let me know when you're ready. Thanks for stopping by. This is really fun. Enjoy the rest of your night.